Good morning, everyone. How's your day? You think right now, if I go to somewhere else, it's gonna be hot? I think right now, the temperature here is 74 degrees. But I'm planning to go somewhere. Let's check the place that uh, I'm going to. But anyway, just continue watching this video. And I have to travel to the place that everybody loves. Okay? Watch it. As I observe here, there's a lot of outlets, but a lot of them are closing. They're all affected by the pandemic. By the time we arrive here, temperature is 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And the next one, we don't have no choice because of too much traffic. We stop by again on the rest area where we have to refresh ourselves again if some of the rest area are close and it's kind of weird when we arrive here it's drizzling a little bit but it's too hot Probably this will be our last stop before we sing in Las Vegas. It's good now, the weather is good. And no more rain. Go back to the parking lot and keep the road. Already I spent 20 minutes here just to stretch up a little bit. We're ready to rock and roll.
on this road we just keep driving straight going to Las Vegas not too much traffic but for sure by the time we're gonna reach the border like in the Prime Valley it will start to have a lot of traffic There's too many people going to Las Vegas before July 4th The aircon is running at full speed and it's still very, very hot inside the car. So by at this point, we hit the traffic already. We still have to go farther down and we cannot avoid this too much traffic. There's a lot of cars that got overheated on the road and there's a lot of motorists driving illegally on the side of the road which is the emergency lane probably some of the people got caught or the motorists got caught by California Highway Patrol because they used the emergency lane on the right side to speed up their uh, driving so that they can arrive and their destination if you cheat, if you get caught, a lot of money you're gonna spend on the ticket. I've seen a lot of overheated cars on the side of the road. Because there's a suggestion that you need to turn off your air conditioning if you're gonna go uphill. Mostly, they're going to Las Vegas. There's a flat road and there's an uphill road. And there's some notification or there's a sign. If you take the uphill road, you have to turn off your AC so that it will minimize uh, your gas consumption. And same thing, uh, you don't have to force your engine to run at maximum level. We don't run too fast. I just maintain my uh, speed at around 75 to 80 miles per hour. A lot of people still driving and overtaking and it's very dangerous. Just one accident. It, it will have a ripple effect. Mostly the big trucks are utilizing the first lane. Slow traffic and the road you are required to be staying in the first lane that's the reason why and some of the road you can run as fast as you can but if there's a lot of cracks or like a thin wheeler truck it will slow down the traffic because some of the big trucks also overtaking but they they are required have a speed only of 55 to 65 miles per hour but at this time driving is smooth but for sure farther down we're gonna hit again the truck there you go we're stopping now stop and go again it's good now to drive in Las Vegas because you have two emergency lanes. You have emergency lane on the left side. You have emergency lane on the right side. You widen it up. But before, this is like a straight through road where you don't have enough space. If you're in trouble, you have a hard time steering your car going to the right so that you can park your car. You can see farther down. This is the Prim Valley where the border of California and Nevada is located. You can see uh, two big hotels left and right where the name of the hotel is Whiskey Pit. 
this is your first stop or this is located on the border of California and Nevada some of the people didn't want to go far than down so they just play in here it's not really a big hotel but if you want to take a break you can exit here and have a little bit fun from this point it will take like around 45 minutes going to downtown Las Vegas but we do not have no choice we end up going straight we go straight all the way and as soon as we arrive maybe around 10 minutes after we hit too many traffics because it's not really an accident too many cars got overheated maybe conked out too Vegas downtown maybe around 25 minutes more to go as you know this there's a little bit of building down the road that's the start of the Las Vegas but I'm not really sure or maybe they have a different name but 25 minutes we gonna reach downtown but I will not stop by the Las Vegas Boulevard. We're gonna go straight to my friend's house. Farther down, you can see already a lot of new construction, new housing development. Some of it is still being constructed and some of it, it's ready for for uh, moving but I'm not sure if these all the houses left and right are already bought by the respective owner before this is all flat no houses left and right but due to the demand of housing the developer built left and right actually houses here in Las Vegas is cheaper in comparison to California but the downside is it's very hot it's extremely hot when we leave the house it's only 74 degrees Fahrenheit but when we reach this area it's already 104 degrees Fahrenheit extreme heat Look like if you touch uh, your windshield, it's kind of very, very warm. We're gonna go straight all the way, wherever my friend's house. We're gonna stay there for a night and we'll be back to California the next day. It's kind of cloudy, but it's so very humid. It's like a heat wave outside go outside wind is blowing hard and sand is sometimes goes in your eyes mm. that's the one that I am trying to avoid going out Go. 
because there is not much land available on the, the strip or the last biggest boulevard some of the hotels already going forward and they built some of the hotel here before the city of Las Vegas but there's a big improvement on their freeway I think this is the project way back 2010 before there is not or the road is not enough or maybe it's like two lanes only but now they expanded already so right now where I'm crossing Las Vegas downtown but you cannot really see a lot of stuff right now because I'm taking the freeway anyway if you, you're gonna drive and Las Vegas Boulevard at daytime it's like very dry not too many people but if nighttime uh, you can see a lot of tourists maybe as soon as it gets dark a lot of people bringing their beer they have a bottle with in their hand <laughs> maybe some of them are drunk or maybe some of these people maybe lost a lot of money <laughs> And some of the people like to walk around, walk um, on the front of the famous uh, Las Vegas Hotel and watch some uh, shows. It's very nice because of the light during nighttime. It's nice to walk on Las Vegas Street. But daytime now, we have a lot of maybe. Uh, it's been around two years I didn't go here in Las Vegas there's a lot of improvement already there's a lot of new towns I was surprised that they keep building and building the hotel if there's no pandemic maybe Las Vegas is very full now but for the moment as I hear from my friend not too many people wearing masks anymore.
Las Vegas. Welcome Las Vegas. <laughs>